Hi friends, welcome to another episode of Policy Scope Mina. My name is Hussein Abulanin, and this week I'll be taking you through some developments from the Middle East region as well as from international organizations. My first update today actually comes from the International Telecommunications Union, where for the first time in 71 years, the United Nations Secretary General has visited the ITU and delivered a speech to the ITU council members. In his speech, His Excellency Antonio Guterres covered issues from the global digital divide to upskilling to the implementation and adoption of AI. But more importantly, the Secretary General addressed issues on the Global Digital Compact as well as the Summit of the Future, which comes up in September of this year. This was really important because it helps shed more light on what the role of the UN Secretariat in New York will be vis-a-vis the ITU Secretariat, which sits in Geneva, and is definitely a story that we should all be following in the next couple of months. If you're interested in learning more about what the Secretariat is thinking in each location, if you want to engage the Global Digital Compact or the Summit of the Future, get in touch with us. Secondly, the UAE takes the biggest share of developments coming out of the region this week. First, at the most recent meeting of the UAE cabinet, we saw the announcement of a new ethical AI charter. The charter, which has 12 principles, uh, defines the UAE's approach to ensuring the safe and sustainable development of AI technologies, but also the application of these technologies in a way that is beneficial for everyone. It's the latest effort from the UAE government to confirm its position as a leading AI nation in the region and globally, and we expect to see much more coming out of that. This was also paired with an announcement that across 22 entities in in Dubai, there is also the appointment of AI officers, which will be primarily responsible for encouraging the adoption of the technology into their relevant entities and pushing it forward. Similarly, we also saw an update from the cabinet on the Sustainable Digital Transformation Framework, which is a new cabinet initiative to make sure that the UAE government is moving more towards a paperless way of doing business, which reduces carbon emissions and is sustainable on the long term. If you want to get involved in the UAE, if you're a company wanting to enter the market or engage different stakeholders at the government or the private sector levels, get in touch with us and we'll be very happy to help you do that. This is Policy Scope Mina, and I'll see you on the next episode. Bye.